Hey guys and welcome to the fourth episode of my Everton series which is the last episode of this first season and it's absolutely brilliant news we finished third in the table overall I yeah it was a dramatic end to the season um, I lost a couple of games towards the end and I was struggling but somehow thanks to the results going my way I finished third I was hoping for fourth and the last day it looked like I was going to finish fifth at one point it was so close between us Arsenal and Tottenham Tottenham were third going into this game and we were fourth but a real dramatic end to the season but more about that in a bit first of all I'll just show you the last three results since the last video where I talked about tactics and so we've we had a good good run little run there sort of beaten Fulham, two goals from Jelovic and good win against Swansea, but then we lost one against Aston Villa, our third defeat in the league of the season. Very disappointing game. I think there's only a couple of occasions we haven't actually scored a goal in the uh, in a league game. And then we beat Chelsea 3 1, so I'll just show you this very impressive victory. Oh, I'm so happy I finished third. Champions League, brilliant third with Everton. I'm, I can't believe I've managed it. I must say my tactics on last day on the last game against Man United were just genius in the end. I'm not being very modest there, but I really thought we were going to lose and blow it at the end. But somehow, but yeah, we'll see that in a bit. And just watch these goals. This point. Fourth in the table still. Oh no, it's not responding. Come on. Here we go. So the first goal was a penalty from Naismith. Oh, what is this thing doing? There we go. Then they equalised pretty quickly with Oscar getting the goal. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with this thing. And then we took a 2-1 lead pretty soon after that as well. So it was quite a intense start to the game. Lovely play there from Zagoa from Miralash and then Naismith with his second goal of the game. That was a beautiful move. I was proud of that move. And then we got a third in the second half when this stupid <laughs> computer decides to load it up. Jelovic ran through, it was a brilliant goal. Just destroyed all four of their defenders there. Snuck in and finished brilliantly. So yeah, 3-1 three, one, three, one victory. Um, very good result. What is wrong with this game at the moment? Not responding to anything. And then, unfortunately, we lost 2-1 against Newcastle. Probably my bogey team this season. Jelovic got our goal. Then a pretty boring 0-0 draw against Tottenham. I was playing for a draw, hoping I would get something at Man United and hoping um, Tottenham could perhaps draw or beat Arsenal to guarantee me fourth place. But in the end, it was uh, pretty nervy to start with. It was 0-0 at half-time against Man United. And Arsenal were 2 0 up, and they went on to win 4 0 against Tottenham. So, if I had drawn against Man United, I would have actually finished fifth in the end, just behind Tottenham on goal difference. So, I really needed to win. So, I went attacking in the second half. I changed tactics. I'll show you what tactics I used after the game. I showed you in the last video, but I just reiterate what I actually went back to a tactic I haven't used much at all but it worked defensively for when I was winning oh what is wrong with this game sorry guys it's really being stupid at the moment okay so second half and they'd been dominating I, I would say but not having huge amounts of chances thanks to my defensive tactic but I went to this attacking tactic Morales with a brilliant run and a brilliant goal and I was so happy 
and I changed back to my defensive tactic for the rest of the game. So I literally played this attacking tactic for six minutes and it got me a goal. And then I thought, I'm just going to hang on to this, go defensive. And uh, But unfortunately, um, an injury. But then an Achibi found the back of the net. And uh, oh, I couldn't believe it. I was so happy that we managed to beat Man United 2-0 and get third place and Arsenal obviously finished fourth and Tottenham finished fifth after being third for pretty much the whole of the season so yeah the tactics I used in the end this is what I played going into the game um, sort of modified version of my defensive tactic earlier in the season and it worked really well so I'll quickly save that because I haven't saved that tactic and yeah it worked for the first half kept it at 0-0 then I changed to this one the players were in different positions but I got a goal thanks to Muralash and then I changed back to the defensive one and I won 2-0 with a breakaway goal at the end so very very happy with that so overall third in the table home record only lost one game. The away record I lost three. But overall, I mean, only four defeats all season. Very impressive. Man United won the league despite me beating them on the last day. There was nothing Man City could do about that. But um oh, third, Champions League, yes. So West Ham Reading Norwich relegated. Uh, Chelsea only finished 7th in the end although they were 10th for a long time and Liverpool were looking like they'd finished 7th but Liverpool don't manage to get a European place for next season and player stats Jelovic top scorer brilliant news and shots on target ratio 67% Pienaar missed out on assists in the end because of injuries towards the end of the season he was at the top of 10 but didn't manage to get any more assists for the rest of the season. Distan, look, fourth and average rating when I brought him into the team has just been epic since then. So, very proud of my team. Overall, Distan, Fellaini, Jelovic, Jagielka, Pinar. So, Gio Baines were the top players with an average rating over seven over the course of the season. Naismith also played well, 10 goals. Top scorer, obviously, Jelovic, then Naismith, Pienaar, Muralash, and Achebe, Jagielka with four from defence. So, yes, it's been a great season. I hope you've enjoyed the first season of my Everton save. Um, I think I'll do another one because it's been popular and I've enjoyed it very much. And also, if you've maybe got some sign-in suggestions for me, maybe who I should sell. Phil Neville, his, his contract's running out. Do I offer him a new one or not? Um, I'm not sure because he's not been brilliant and he's a bit old so maybe you can give me some advice for that obviously you don't know how much money I've got but suggest some signings and if I've got enough money I can try and sign them probably looking for another striker another defensive midfielder maybe another winger and I'm probably quite solid at the back so yeah I shall see you in the fifth episode which will be probably towards the start of next season and I'll show you who I've signed and until then I hope you please uh, like and subscribe and yeah I'll see you soon